Okay, so what do we got here? Well, this is called a function. And the name of this function is f, or we would say this is f of x. And this particular function is f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x. So what do we do with functions? Well, one of the primary things you do is evaluate functions. In other words, we plug in values here. So I might ask you to find f of 2. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to explain this thoroughly uh, here in a second, but you should know what this means if you're taking any sort of algebra course. And if you don't know what it means, we're going to review it. And then I'll give you some recommendations on um, how to improve your knowledge of functions. But uh, functions are absolutely critical in algebra. So you can evaluate functions uh, with numbers, okay, this type of function. But here we're going to do something extra special. We're going to evaluate this function, uh, th this one right here, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x, with this x minus 3. So I want you to evaluate this function for x minus 3 and uh, tell me what this is. Now, if you think you know how to do this problem, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video. It'll probably take you about a minute uh, to do this uh, correctly. And then, um, obviously, we can compare answers at the end. So I'm going to do this problem step by step. And uh, we'll talk very briefly about what it means to evaluate a function because that's what we're going to be doing. And we'll uh, take a look at an example with a number as well. Okay, but uh, before we get to all of that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I focus on obviously middle school, high school, and even college level math. So my courses range from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. If you are taking any kind of exam that has math on it, so the GED, SAT, ACT, for example, ASVAB, Back Your Place or CLEP exam, GRE, GMAT, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, maybe a nursing school entrance exam. There's so many exams that people have to take, and quite frankly, there is a math section. So I can help you prepare for those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive uh, homeschool math curriculum uh, program you can check out. And if you don't have any notes, uh, math notes to study from, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to the my math notes in the description of this video, but hopefully you don't need mine because you must be taking great math notes to be successful in mathematics. If you're not taking great math notes, you need to start immediately taking notes. I've been teaching math for decades. This is really the key to success in mathematics. Okay, so uh, if you want to go ahead and, and try this problem on your own, uh, go ahead and pause the video and take a look at it because I'm going to get into it right now. All right, so first things first, let's see, uh, take a look at our function. So we have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x. So let's evaluate this function for 3. Let's find f of 3. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means that here, this is an x, right? So I have an x here, an x here. So when we have uh, f of 3, basically what we're saying is replace all the x's with 3 and then just simplify it. Okay, so this x is going to become 3. Okay, and then this x here will plug in a 3. Okay, so now I have to figure out this nice uh, expression here, 2 times 3 squared plus 3. You've got to be very careful with the order of operations. So you've got to remember your PEMDAS and everything else like that. Okay, so what do we do first? We do powers, right? So 3 squared is 9. That's going to be 9 times 2. That's 18 plus this 3. 18 plus 3 is 21. So that is f of 3. Okay, so what we just did is we evaluated this function, f of x, for f of 3. We found f of 3, or we evaluated the function for f of 3. And f of 3, we can even write it this way, f of 3 is equal to 21. Now, I can go on and on and on about uh, functions and importance of this, what this means, how we can determine a function. Yeah, that's all for you know, additional videos. I mean, the whole uh, study of functions is very, very big in algebra. Okay, so right now we're just really focusing on the mechanics of evaluating functions. All right, so here I just evaluated this function for 3, but you can evaluate a function with anything that you want. Okay, I can plug in anything uh, into these x's here, and what I want to do is plug in x minus 3. Okay, so if I want to find what f of x minus 3 is, well, I'm just going to re uh, replace those x's with x minus 3. Okay, so you can see the setup here, all right, how I'm replacing the, the x's here with x minus 3. So now we need to use our 
excellent algebra skills to simplify this. Okay, so this is a good little um, pop quiz for for those of you out there. If you didn't know what the setup was, well, now you do. So you should be able to use your um, algebra skills to simplify this. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and see if you can pick up the problem at this point, I think you should pause the video and see what you can come up with. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and get into the actual simplification of this part of the problem. Okay, so uh, let's go down here and just review. All right, so f of x minus 3 for this particular function is 2 times x minus 3. That's where that x was, and, uh, squared, plus x, right, which is now x minus 3, okay? So again, order of operations, i got to figure out what x minus 3 squared is. So this is uh, where you really want to use brackets and grouping symbols. So x minus 3 squared is the same thing as x minus 3 times x minus 3. I need, to, I need to figure out what that is, then I'm going to multiply by 2. Okay, so if I really uh, show that in a very clear way with brackets, I won't get myself in trouble. So x minus 3 times x minus 3, I get that product, and then I multiply by 2, and then I can add by that x minus 3. Okay, so that is the setup, and now we're going to use our algebra skills and figure out what x minus 3 times x minus 3 is. This is a good opportunity to use your FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. We're multiplying binomials here, so this is first, outer, inner, last. Again, if you don't understand this, I have tons of videos on all this stuff in my algebra playlist on how to multiply binomials, but basically what you're going to have is x times x. That's x squared, x times negative 3, negative 3x, negative 3, times x, negative 3x, negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Okay, so here, x minus 3 times x minus 3 ends up being x squared minus 6x plus 9. Okay, we're going to add those like terms. And you want to write out the steps just like this. You need to write out and check your work as you go. Okay, you, it's just, you know, this is why it's so important. I'm sure you've heard your math teacher stress to you neatness, organization, show your work step by step because you got to see what you're doing and you got to be double checking and kind of, you know, checking your work as you go, right? That's the way you kind of uh, limit mistakes and errors that, you know, you write the step and you check. Um, and just too many, too many steps to be, you know, that you are, you know, this problem is, uh, uh, requires and, you know, there's every little step is an opportunity for you to make a mistake. Okay. Even if you knew better, you just be distracted for one split second, then you end up writing something incorrectly. All right, so now, remember, I got to now do multiplication. So this is going to be 2 times all of this. So we get 2x uh, squared, 2 times 6, negative 6 is going to be negative 12x, 2 times 9, that's 18. Now I have my x minus 3 over here. We can't forget about that, right? Remember, that's uh, this part of the problem. And now let's just put this all together. So uh, like terms, I only have an x, one x squared term. So that's 2x squared. I don't have any more x squared. So I have a negative 11x. I have uh, another x over here. That's a positive 1x. So it's negative 11x. And then I have my 18 minus 3, which is 15. So finally, finally, this is the right answer. f of x minus 3 is equal to 2x squared minus 11x plus 15. This is what you would want to give your teacher. Now, if in fact you got this uh, correct, okay, it must give you a awesome, happy face, A plus 100% uh, outstanding, okay? So that means that you know, you know how to work with uh, functions, at least to evaluate. I would say this is kind of a medium level problem, but hey, if you got this right, that's still very, very good. Now, if you didn't understand this, hopefully this video you know, help, uh, helped you out to kind of give you a bigger picture of evaluating functions. It's absolutely something you need to understand. But, uh, you know, take, a, you know, if you're having trouble with this, take it one skill at a time. What is it that you don't understand? Do you not understand how to multiply things like x minus 3 times x minus 3, like the FOIL method? Then review that. If you're still not, you know, comfortable with just the concept of functions, then review functions. That's the whole thing. When you write your workout and you kind of break your problem up by multiple different little skill sets, sub-skills, you can identify, I don't understand this part of the problem. Well, if you corrected that uh, particular skill, then you could pull the whole thing in together, right? So that's why, you know, it's so critical that you write out each step and, you know, really ask yourself, are you understanding what you're doing? Okay, so that way 
this doesn't feel so overwhelming. But anyways, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach this stuff in a clear and understandable way. So I love teaching math. I have tons of videos. I've already made it. I'm going to be post, or I've already posted, but, um, you know, I'm never going to run out of math topics to teach. And so I'm going to be constantly putting stuff out there. So if you like my teaching style, you know, hopefully you'll stay tuned and check in as you need to. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.